Grade 4 Math, number 77, Multiples of Fractions, Part 2. If you want to see Part 1, it's in video number 76, and if you look in my Grade 4 Math folder, you'll see it as the one right before number 77, okay? Maybe you can follow along. You can try if you want. A multiple, if you remember, is the product of a number and a counting number. The counting number would be 1, so the multiple is 6. Here are the multiples of 6. This counting number is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See, they're slowly going up as counting numbers. Then the multiples are 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. They're each going up by the number 6 for each one. They're increasing, see? If you also remember, a unit fraction has a 1 for a numerator, and the denominator tells us how many parts the item was split into. So a unit fraction of 1 fourth has a 1 for a numerator, and the 4 tells us that the item was split into 4 parts. Okay? So, Tala needs to cook rice for the family dinner. For each half cup of uncooked rice, Tala needs 1 cup of water. If she uses 6 cups of water, how many cups of uncooked rice should she put in the pot? Okay, well we got 6 cups of water and a half cup of rice for each cup. So that's 6 times a half. In repeated addition, we'd have one half added up six times. Here's six cups of water and a half cup of rice for each one. Six times a half would be six halves. See, we have six of them here. Six halves simplifies to three cups of rice. We ask ourselves, how many times does two fit into six? It fits in three times because six divided by two equals three. See that? Okay, so here's what we covered in a nutshell in the last video. We did multiples of unit fractions, and we explained the identity property, which is anything times 1 is that number. 3 times 1 is still 3, etc. So 1 seventh plus 1 seventh is the same thing as 1 seventh times 2, because we have it 2 times. 1 seventh times 2 is 2 sevenths. If we had three of them, it would be the same thing as one-seventh times three, and it would be three-sevenths. If we had four, it would be one-seventh times four, or four-sevenths, and so on. Five would be one-seventh times five, which is five-sevenths. So now, multiples of non-unit fractions, okay, because those were unit fractions, with a one as a numerator, multiples of non-unit fractions would be like two-sevenths. So we would add 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths, or it would be 2 sevenths times 2. That would be 4 sevenths. See? 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. We add the numerator and keep the denominator. It would be 4 sevenths. If we had 3 of them, 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths, it would be the same as 2 sevenths times 3. 1, 2, 3. We would add up the numerators, which would be 6, or we would just multiply the 2 numerator times that 3 and keep the denominator. 4 of them would be 2 sevenths times 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 sevenths. If we had 5 of them, it would be 2 sevenths times 5, or add up the 2's 5 times, it makes a 10, or we could say 2 times this 5 is 10 and keep the denominator. So remember, the denominator, denominator stays the same, okay? And I explained very, very thoroughly in the last video why it stays the same if you're confused about multiples of fractions not going up with the denominator, okay? So, if we look at a number line, here's 1, here's 5 fifths, I mean, I'm sorry, here's 0, here's 1 because 5 fifths is 1, here's 2 because 10 fifths is 2, here's 3 because 15 fifths is 3, if we needed to multiply 2 fifths times 4, that means we would need 4 of these, right? So we would jump 4 times 2 fifths. So here's the first jump, here's the second jump, here's the third jump, and here's the fourth jump, and that brings us to 8 fifths. It went from 0 to 2, 4, 6, 8 fifths. The multiples of 2 fifths are 2 fifths, 4 fifths, 6 fifths, 8 fifths. So see how they're jumping? The numerator is jumping by 2 each time, but the denominator is staying the same. 
Okay? So now let's look at three-fourths. If we had three-fourths times five, that means we'd have five of these little three-fourths guys, wouldn't it? If we had a number line that started with zero and went up, four-fourths is one, eight-fourths is two, twelve-fourths is three, etc. See? When the numerator and the denominator are the same, it equals one. So if the numerator is double, then it would be two and so on. It's triple, it's three. See? So we're going to jump by three-fourths and we're going to do it five times, starting with zero. One jump is three-fourths, the second jump is six-fourths, the third jump is nine-fourths, the next jump is twelve-fourths, and then the final jump is fifteen-fourths. If you look, three times five is fifteen, and the denominator was just moved over. The multiples of three-fourths would be 3 fourths, 6 fourths, 9 fourths, 12 fourths, and 15 fourths. It's almost like the multiples of 3, and we don't have the fourths underneath there, see? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 are the multiples of the whole number 3. So because it's got a denominator of 4, we put the denominator down there and it doesn't change, okay? Just as the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30, and so on, 6 is added each time we move to the next multiple. Same thing with fractions. The multiples of 2 fifths, we're going to add 2 fifths each time to the next multiple to get the next multiple, see? For 6, we added 6. For 2 fifths, we add 2 fifths. 2 fifths and 2 fifths is 4 fifths. 4 fifths and 2 fifths is 6 fifths. 6 fifths and 2 fifths is 8 fifths, etc. So remember, the numerator increases as a regular multiple will, and the denominator will stay the same. So, those are multiples of fractions. If you still feel like you'd like to go back and watch part one, it might be a good idea because it very thoroughly, I very thoroughly explain why the denominator does not change. So if you're still confused about that, I really think you need to go back to video number 76 in my grade four math folder, okay, for Joanne School. Keep up the good work. We're going to keep talking about math, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.